Hey guys, well, I am back and I'm doing a little video for you guys and this is my 2013 favorite videos. Um, but let's just get started with my foundations. Um, so for high-end brand, I am loving the Estee Lauder Double Wear um, Stay In Place Makeup. Foundation has one fluid ounce and I am in the 2W2. Let me take it out. I love the packaging of this. Um, this is how it looks like. So yeah, um, I think they're around like 40 bucks for it, so it is on the pricier side, but I, I think it's worth the money if you want to invest in it. And then for a different alternative, I would say the Revlon Color Stay at 24 hour wear. I am in shade 220 Natural Beige, and this is what I'm wearing right now, so um, this is my uh, lower... Um, kind of drugstore alternative and um, say um, I usually wear this like all the time and I wear this whenever I am uh, going out for like special occasions and stuff because I honestly don't want to like use all of it on a daily uh, routine use so I usually use this and so my number one primer at the moment is I just grabbed it so it's the Dat Gal Band by Benefit um I picked up the full size because I'm um, I've always, I guess I buy, if you know me, I do want to spend my money on high-end brands, but I always want to test it out before I go on and purchase the full size. So, um, so I picked up this, um, the 15-hour primer one that everybody's so obsessed about, and I actually wanted to get it because everybody said it's so good, and I love it, but, um, I would say I don't, it cracks really, like, it this thing cracked on me I don't know why I'm not even done using it and then it's not even going up anymore and yeah and then this is how much product I have left but it doesn't stay on see it breaks off really easily so that's why I was like you know it's not even like ah uh, this is how much product I have left and I honestly can't use it the only time I probably would use it I can use it is I if I like use something scoop it out and like put it on your face but I hate that about it so I started using this one and I actually really really like it so I picked up the full size one and actually like the full size one it's how this is how it looks like when you open it up it has a little clear cover again you open it up and you twist it and the product comes out right here it like squeezes out and I actually really like this a lot of this goes a long way so um I haven't been like, I still have a lot of product left in here because I use, I use this for a little bit and then I picked this up and I've been using this and I, because I misplaced this one so I didn't use it all so now I'm starting to use this all and I'll probably go back to the full size one. But I really like it, um, it's so worth the money. I prefer this over the 15, pri 15 hour primer because honestly I think they do the same like amount of work because um, I don't wear my makeup for 15 hours so I don't need the 15 hour so I think this does great and that does brighten your face this is brighten face primer and it does brighten your face because it's pinkish and it's I would say it just brightens your face next we're gonna go to moisturizer and if you know me I've talked about this moisturizer all the time and this is my number one moisturizer I can't find anything to replace it. I've been trying the Benefit Moisturizer and it's good too, but I can never find, I can't find anything that can replace this. And this is the 48 hour hydrating, hydration, um, Adele Moisturizer by L'Oreal. And I got it for the dry skin and I love this. Next, we're going to go to brushes. And my brushes are kind of dirty right now because I haven't cleaned these because I've been testing out different kind of brushes. So I haven't had time to clean these. But if you know me, these are my like top brushes of 2013. And they are my Hello Kitty brushes. They come in three. This set of three. And I gave a pair, uh, one set of these away in my last giveaway. And um, I did pick up another backup. And I think they are actually discontinuing this line. So... These brushes are super soft, so if you want to go test it out, go get them while you can, because I don't know how long they're going to have these for. This is my eyebrow kit that I've been using for 2013, because um, I actually really, really like this kit. And it's the e.l.f. eyebrow kit. Let's open it up. Yeah, it, it, I hit pan already, but I've been trying different kind of um, 
I've been trying different kind of um, brow kits already, so I haven't been using this one, but I already hit pan. And this is like a creamy, this one, this dark one is like a creamy consistency, and this is like a just a shadow. And this is brown, this is a darker brown, and it comes with the brush, and this brush is actually pretty soft and useful. But I use my own brush sometimes, and I do use this because it has an angle brush on that side, and then just a flat brush that you can fill in your brows. And then, I don't know, I got this in medium, and this was around $3, so I think this is so worth it. But I've been testing out new um, brow kits, new brow kits, and this is not my brows. I am not using this kit right now. I probably will talk about the kit I'm using in my hits and misses, and um, I did have a little review about it, and I'll put the link down below, and it's the Salon Perfect one. My, this year is my favorite. I pa uh, my palette of this year, I would say, is the M Cosmetic. Oh my gosh, like this, um, this makeup line just came out last year, but I love it. Like honestly, it's worth the money. This is a kit that I got. I got the Nightlife, right? Yeah, I got the Nightlife palette, and honestly, I haven't even used all these. As you can see, these are like still brand new. All these shadows are still brand new. I only took the ones that I really use daily. These are the more shadows I've been using. And I am in love with this shadow. I I wish they sold shadows by itself because I need to pick up another backup one. I'm thinking about going to like a different, like probably like a drugstore or like um, Sephora, Ulta, or MAC and try to find a color similar to this because this is a perfect brown tan color to use as a transition color and I use this color like almost every day as my transition color and I already hit a little pan already so um I need to go I wish they sell this um shadow by itself because I really want this shadow but I I guess I have to find another way to get that color if I can eyeliners right now um I've been loving the Rimbel Scandalize um waterproof liners and I've been using the one in 00 black, 001 black. And then I've been using the one in 005 nude. And I've been using this on my waterline. I've heard this. Okay, lips. My lips, I, my number one uh, product for my lips this year is these two products. And I love combining these two products together. This is the Jordan, um, Easy liner for lips, and this is in rock and roll, rock and roll, right? Oh no, rock and rose, and it's just a pretty nude color, nude brownish color. And then I like to pair it with this one, and this is from Wet and Wild, and it's in 902C Bear It All. And I, yeah, I've used quite a lot of this, and I have backup of these because I love it. And this is how it looks like because this is what I'm wearing, and I really love this together so yeah and these are such a really good deal because I think this liner is around two dollars now I got it when it was like 99 cents but they raised up the prices so it's around two dollars now and then this is I think it's like a dollar for it only and then primer for my eyes um my number one primer is the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer potion I use I use the squeezing one that you squeeze in the bottle this is the old packaging I just, I haven't used this one yet, yeah, I haven't used this one yet, it's so brand new, um, I just got this because my boyfriend got me the Naked Palette 1, finally, I finally got the Naked Palette 1, my boyfriend got it for me for Christmas, so it came with this, and I guess I grabbed this one as, to show you guys, but yeah, this is the new one that I've been using, setting powder, where is my setting powder, setting powder for my face has been this rice powder by, um, what is it? Pudo or something like that? I don't know how to pronounce it. And I got it in what? Natural. The color is natural. And I got this from Sally's Beauty Supply. And I actually really like this. And then for concealer, I've been using... Whoa, that's really weird. I've been using the L'Oreal True Match Concealer. I haven't been using concealer that much anymore because I don't conceal stuff. Cause my foundations I usually put on, they're really full coverage, or I usually put two layers, so it's full coverage. So 
so I don't really use concealer that much. I avoid concealer as much as I can. The only nowadays I use concealer to help define my brows, but other than that, that I don't use concealer that much anymore. But when I did use concealer, this was my number one concealer, and I got it in Fair to Light, and I love it because it's like a it's a really nice consistency. And yeah, look at that. It works wonders. So like I was saying, um, see I lost my palette. Shame on me. But so I like I was saying, my uh, favorite bronzer is the Elf Bronzing Kit. And this is, sorry, this is, I don't know what shade it is in. But this is how it looks like. I already hit pan for the bronzer. And this is how it looks like. I love it because, well, it has a little shimmer here and there, but it's not even that, like, crazy. And I use this to contour my face a lot. So, um, and then for a more expensive alternative, I would say the Hoola. Um, I, this is the travel one that I got in the kit that I was telling you guys about when I got this little sample size. And this is the kit, this is what I got, and, um, I haven't even hit pan on it. Because I think, because I've been using this and this on and off. So I haven't, I've used this more than this because um, I thought this was a more expensive alternative and I didn't want to like use it all and then I've been debating to get the full size so I probably will be getting the full size soon after I use this all or this all debating because I want to use this all before I buy the full size one because I know if I buy a full size one I'll probably use the full size one and then these two will be left all alone so I'm debating right now but this is only three dollars I think three dollars or five dollars for just these two and I think that's such a really good deal and this is like uh, you could say a lot of people say this is a dupe for the NARS one and honestly I haven't used the NARS one yet so I can't say anything about that but they look similar that's all I have and then last but not least is removing your makeup of course and I love the forever 21 makeup um, remover I've been testing out this new remover that I love so much but it's not my 2013 so yeah so this is what I've been using this is the um, 60 makeup cleansing wipe and this is around 480 for this and so it's pretty cheap for this so I've been using that that is all that I have to show you guys for my um 2013 beauty favorites and now we are going to get to the important part so i just wanted to mention that i will be attending imats this upcoming weekend and i'm super excited i've been waiting for this for so long because i i wanted to go last year but i didn't get the chance to go because i just started doing makeup and i finally heard about it well i didn't I finally, I finally noticed about it last year, but it was too late, and the tickets were sold. I don't think the tickets were sold out, but I just, my boyfriend didn't have enough time to request the days off, so we couldn't go, and I was, like, so disappointed because I wanted to go. So this year, I made sure I was going to be able to go, so I did purchase my tickets super early. I think I purchased it uh, during the late summer, at the end of the summer, so I actually really purchased my ticket really early. And I will be going on Saturday and Sunday, and I, um, me and my boyfriend will be leaving on Friday morning. So we'll be in LA for the whole day Friday, Saturday, and late Sunday we'll be coming back home. So um, I will be in LA, so if you guys see me, please come say hi. Um, and I will be vlogging all those days, and I did make a new vlogging channel, and I'll put the link down below, so subscribe to my channel, and, um, so I will be start vlogging, so if you guys see me at IMAPS or see me in LA, please can say hi, and I probably, I know I have a list of things that I want to stop by in LA, so, uh, I'm for sure we are going to IMAPS for the Saturday and Sunday, because I bought tickets for Saturday and Sunday for both of us. Um, we are going to be going to the Johnny Cupcake store in LA because my boyfriend loves Johnny Cupcake and I bought him a gift card from there so we will be dropping by there and I pop, I think we're going to drop by the Grove because uh, I want to shop there and I wanted to go check out Topshop because I have never been to Topshop. That's crazy. I need to go to Topshop because I've seen like so many. I follow Topshop on my Instagram and I love their like clothing and everything so I need to drop by Topshop. If you guys see me, come say hi, and that's all I got to say for you guys, and 
I like I said I will be testing a lot of uh, makeup products this year just because I'm going to eye mask I probably will be picking up a lot of things so I probably will do a little haul for you guys if you guys want to um, just like this video or um, comment down below if you guys want to do see a haul from my eye mask that I will be doing and yeah I'll see you guys bye